Hello teachers, welcome to the chemistry video lesson plan on fire and fire extinguishers. I am Apurva Barve from ISER Pune and this lesson plan has been developed in collaboration with Ms. Sangeeta Shinde from PMC school number 152B, Kailaswasi Babura Balwadkar Prathamik Vidya Mandir. While fire is one of the greatest discoveries of mankind, it can also cause a lot of destruction. So, it is important for students to learn how to extinguish a fire along with learning the science behind fires. At the end of this lesson, students will learn how to extinguish a flame using different methods. We are going to explore this topic of fires and fire extinguisher using hands-on activities, which will make your class fun and interactive. One can begin the class by discussing incidences of fires that have caused destruction of life or property. One can give examples of fires caused in cities or at oil rigs or wildfires. This will focus the student's attention on the topic and make them appreciate the importance of fire safety. One can begin with the question, what do you think makes a fire persist? Surprisingly, the students responded with things that put out a fire. They talked about measures like pouring water or putting sand on fire. We then try to find the answer to our original question by using this information. We also discussed whether these methods of extinguishing fires would work in all scenarios. Asking why these methods work in extinguishing a fire led us to the answer to our first question that a fire triangle is required for a fire to persist. The fire triangle consists of fuel, ignition temperature or heat and oxygen. All three factors are required for a fire to persist. Once we have identified these three factors, the students can ideate different ways of extinguishing a fire by limiting any one of these factors. To demonstrate the first method, we need camphor, matchbox and a spray bottle with water. Light a few pieces of camphor on fire using spray bottle with water, spray on the fire. After the demo, you can ask the students why the fire was extinguished. You can ask questions about the role of camphor and water to lead them to the desired response that the fire is extinguished because water lowers the temperature. You can then discuss how this method of extinguishing a fire is used very often in our daily lives. Here we can give examples of water being used to extinguish a fire. Videos of water jets or sprays being used by firefighters can also be shown. The next method works on depletion of oxygen. Most students are already aware that if you place an inverted jar on a burning candle, it gets extinguished due to depletion of oxygen. But we added an interesting twist to this activity. Instead of one candle, we used three candles of different heights. We also used plate, a glass, matchbox, Stick all three candles close to each other using some wax and light them. Place a glass over the candles. Make sure that there is no space for air to go in. Observe the candles extinguish one by one. Measure the time taken by each candle to extinguish using a stopwatch. Try to do this activity without using a glass and with a glass that has a hole. This activity can be done by the students in groups of 4 or 5. Ask the students to observe the process carefully and note their observations in their book. While conducting the activity, one can also ask questions such as Why does the fire extinguish after lowering the beaker? Which candle will extinguish first? Can you predict why? Students usually get really excited about this activity. Some expect that the tallest candle will extinguish first while others feel that all three will extinguish simultaneously. Most of them are not able to give reasons for their answers, but nevertheless are really curious and excited to try out this experiment. Most of them hypothesized that the candles will go off sequentially in order of their height. Additional inquiry about why the tallest candle extinguishes first can also help students understand the process of combustion and the chemistry behind it. This will help them dig deeper into the mechanisms of putting out a fire. We then discussed fire blankets, use of foam, use of dirt, all of which work on the principle of depleting oxygen 
to put out a fire. Our next demonstration also works on the same principle. For this, we will need baking soda, vinegar, bottle, balloon, candle tied vertically to a metal stick. Pour about 30 ml vinegar into the bottle. Put a spoonful of baking soda inside the balloon. Stretch and fix the balloon to the mouth of the bottle. Invert the balloon such that the baking soda inside falls into the vinegar below. Observe as the balloon inflates. Wait till it has inflated fully. Empty the balloon in a glass. Put a lit candle inside this glass and observe. Conduct this activity in the class and ask your students to observe the process carefully and note their observations. To help them understand the scientific principle behind the demonstration, ask them questions about the chemical reaction between vinegar and baking soda. You can also ask if it is necessary to put a lid on the glass after emptying the balloon in it. Students often don't get the mechanism by simply observing the process. At times, it helps to break up the experiment into small parts and explain the reasoning behind observations at each step. To bring more clarity, you can also show a video of a fire extinguisher in action. To extend the learning from this activity even further, you can ask your students to ponder over how a fire in an oil rig is extinguished. Using a video that explains this process can greatly help as well. One can also clarify how using water to extinguish a fire at an oil rig can cause explosions. It is important to discuss the differences in the densities of oil and water and discuss ways to extinguish a fire at an oil rig using other methods discussed in this lesson. Students found activity-based learning to be very interesting. This not only makes class time fun, but also helps in imparting the scientific concepts. The text lesson plan for this video is available in the description box below. We hope that the use of activities will make learning a joyful process. Do share your experiences with us. Thank you for watching.